Hey everyone, I'm Skylar from Evo. Today I'm going to talk about how to choose a mountain bike wheel size. Almost all new bikes these days come with either 27.5 inch or 29 inch wheels. Each size has its own set of benefits which will impact your ride. I'll cover the pros and cons of each and we'll also get into what happens when you mix wheel sizes. By the end of this video, you'll have all the information you need to decide which wheel size is best for you. Let's touch on 26 inch wheels first. These are the historical rebels at the core of mountain biking's history, but we've come a long way in 50 years and wheels have gotten bigger as the sport has evolved. These days, you'll find companies putting them on dirt jumpers because they're lighter, stronger, and stiffer than larger diameter wheels. You may also see them on older mountain bikes, but if you're in the market for a new ride, this size won't really come into play. After 26 inch wheels, 29 inch wheels were the next size to gain momentum. The early 29ers felt sluggish and bike geometry hadn't yet adapted to a bigger wheel size. Even so, 29ers were quickly embraced by cross country riders because the larger wheel size gave them improved traction and speed. Luckily, bike manufacturers have caught up and all but eliminated early issues with 29ers. Modern 29ers are fast, stable, and roll over large obstacles with ease. This makes them appealing to riders of all abilities. You'll see them everywhere from professional races to your local trails. 27.5 inch wheels emerged not too long after 29ers. You'll sometimes see the sizing listed as 650B, especially on drop bar bikes. These wheels have been around for a while on touring bikes, but it wasn't until 2007 that they entered the mountain bike scene. 27.5 wheels aren't as fast as 29ers, but they're quicker to accelerate and much more nimble, both on the ground and in the air. They're a great choice for playful trails with tight switchbacks and lots of features to jump off. So how do you decide which wheel size is best for you? For the most part, your choice is going to come down to 27.5 or 29 inch wheels. You'll need to consider which size best suits your ability, riding style, and local terrain. One of the biggest differences between wheel sizes is their rollover capability. Larger wheels have a smaller angle of attack than smaller wheels, which allows them to roll up and over obstacles more easily. The result is that 29ers offer a noticeably smoother ride over roots, rocks, and ruts in the trail. If your local trails feature big, techy obstacles, you might consider a 29-inch wheel. This rollover ability is great for new riders too because it helps build the trust and confidence you need to progress. You're much less likely to stuff your front wheel or go over the bars with a 29er and the fewer injuries you have, the more likely you are to keep riding. Another major benefit of 29ers comes down to traction. Larger wheels have a larger contact patch hitting the ground, which means there's more rubber gripping the dirt at any given moment. This is awesome if your local terrain includes a lot of slippery roots or deep sand. It also helps when you're climbing or need to slam on the brakes. 27.5 wheels aren't quite as stable as 29ers on chunky terrain, but what they lack in size, they make up for it in agility. 27.5 is generally considered the fun size because they're snappier and easier to whip around. The smaller diameter and shorter wheelbase of 27.5 bikes makes it easier to navigate tight switchbacks and sharp corners, places where larger wheels can feel more cumbersome. They're also easier to get in the air, so if you like hucking off playful features along the trail, 27.5 might be your jam. Your wheel size can also affect how your bike fits. If you're under 5'5", a 27.5 may feel more natural to you. Some brands offer different wheel sizes depending on which size frame you choose, putting 27.5 wheels on the smaller sizes and 29ers on the larger ones. This is because large 29ers can be difficult for shorter riders to handle. It's an awesome way to ensure that riders of every height have a dialed fit. The type of biking you want to do is also an important thing to consider. A 29er will give you the most grip and speed. This is great for long, fast cross-country races with a lot of vert. They're slower to accelerate, but once you get them rolling, they are super quick and stable. Downhill riding, on the other hand, requires a strong and responsive wheel. 27.5 wheels pivot easily, and the smaller size and spoke length also makes them stronger. You'll want a stiff wheel like this if you plan on getting some airtime. Trail and enduro riders can go either way. 
In the end, it'll come down to some of the factors we mentioned earlier, like height, local terrain, and style. If both of these options sound great and you still can't decide, maybe you should be looking for a mixed wheel or mullet bike. These bikes have a 29 inch wheel in the front and 27 5 inch wheel in the back. This gives you the best of both worlds. They have a super stable feel up front and greater ability to lean the bike over and flick your back tire where you want it. Mixed wheel sizing was banned in the World Cup until 2018. As soon as that ban was lifted, riders started experimenting with their wheels and mullet bikes have been winning races ever since. Safe to say it's a killer wheel combination and well worth considering if you're looking for something a little different. If you're interested in mixing up your wheel sizes, your best bet is to look into bikes with dedicated mullet geometries like the Giuliana Rubion. Mixing wheel sizes with non-mullet frames will mess with the geometry of your bike, so we don't recommend it. Some brands are even producing bikes that can accommodate both wheel sizes. This can be an awesome way to try out different options if you're not ready to commit to a mullet. So there you have it. You can't reinvent the wheel, but you can definitely tweak the size of it. I've given you a basic rundown of the different mountain bike wheel sizes and how to choose the best one for you. If you still need help, our experts love talking about gear. Visit us online, in-store, or give us a call. We're happy to help. Make sure to hit the subscribe button and drop any questions down in the comments below. Thank you for watching and have fun on the trails.